Leave that alone. There are. That note mentioned the gem of Kereshek. What's that? It's nothing. Never mind. If you're worried about who sent the note, I can go in your place. Did I ask for that? I don't know who sent it, and I don't want to. I lost everything chasing that gem. Our fortune, our home, even Mara. Who's Mara? She's... None of your concern. That's who she is. Why don't you head back to your fancy house in Hightown and stay out of my damn business? So, you've done well for yourself. I had my doubts the first time I saw you, but I guess there was something to that hawk fellow Leandra ran off with after all. You made a pretty good son anyway. Your mother would be proud. I just wish Mother had lived to see me become champion. I know Leandra, and she'd be absolutely glowing from all the praise that's been heaped on you. I don't say this often, but we're the only family we've both got left. For a long time, I thought the Amel line in Kirkwall would end at me. I'm glad you've pulled it out of the grave. who sent the note about the gem of Kereshek. We were beginning to think you wouldn't show. It's rude to keep people waiting, you know? It's not like I don't got things to do. To inconvenience an upstanding citizen such as yourself. My, where are my manners? Don't talk down to me. I ain't stupid. See, we was hired to give you a note. But this gem of Kirashek thing the note talks about, we decided we want that instead. You better hand it over. I'm surprised you know what a note is, let alone know how to read one. I don't need to know how to read. All I need to know is which end of the sword goes where. We aren't going anywhere without that gem. Maybe we should ask your uncle. I done to you now? To me? Nothing. Not yet. To you. Yourself? You can't even begin to imagine the number of mages that have walked down the path you're now on. My clan didn't believe in me. If you don't believe in me either, I won't mind. What do you want now? What in the maker's name is a wallop mallet? <laughs> Haven't played wallop since I was a kid. Still got my mallet up on the wall, though. Last time I was any good at something.
It's our duty to tell the Templars. Then why haven't you done it? The I guess I was hoping they'd come to, to it on their own. And then you wouldn't have to betray Hawk's friends, right? That's not reason enough to allow a Maleficar to walk free. Are you talking about... I can't believe they used the wood from a Venandal tree to make this wallop mallet. It's just a child's toy. Wallop mallet? You must be the one I'm supposed to give this note to. This person is like an underpaid brothel wench. He enjoys leading us on. I was given a few coins to hand this over to whoever came asking about wallop mallets. Unfortunately, the person was hooded, and it was dark. I didn't get a good look. Obviously a human, though. No mistaking that. Even hooded, you all look alike. Oh! To a warehouse next. It's like a treasure hunt.
should have let the Canari take over. Look for those crates. I wonder what's in these crates. Something seems off. It's a trap! They still insist on playing games. It's time to end this charade.
so, Gamlin couldn't even be bothered to come himself. I should have expected he'd send you, cousin. You never told me you had a cousin. I have a cousin. Gamlin never told you. I... Of course he didn't. Why would he? Sorry to interrupt this touching family reunion, but we have unfinished business here. Veld! What are you doing here? Mechel is dead. That bastard killed him. What's a Mechel? My brother. Mechel was my brother, and you killed him. That doesn't make sense. Mechel was just supposed to hand over the note. You really think we didn't read it? We know about the gem, Sherard. Hand it over. I won't let Mechel's death be for nothing. You let your brother go up against someone like Hawk for a stupid gem. You know what? I did find the gem, but you're not getting your pathetic little hands on it, Veld. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. Pretty useful in a fight. You don't take after Gamlin at all. And I wouldn't have taken you for his daughter. What with being able to fight? I guess I should take that as a compliment. My mother, Mara. She left Gamlin before I was born. He was so fixated on finding that stupid gem. I doubt he even noticed she was gone. She told me about Gamlin before she died last year. I didn't even know about him. You told Veld you had the gem. Were you lying? Not at all. I found the gem. I managed to pull off what Gamlin couldn't. You say Gamlin is obsessed with this gem, but he never mentioned it before your note turned up. Maybe he didn't want you to know about it. He mentioned he lost a lot searching for the gem. Maybe he gave up on it. That would be a surprise, to say the least. You set this whole thing up just so you could meet your father? I just wanted to see... I don't know, how far he'd go for something he really wanted. And then he doesn't even show up. I baited him with the one thing I thought would get his attention. He's got some good qualities. You might be surprised. Really? What do you think I should do? I think you should go talk to Gamlin. Does he even know about you? I... I'm not sure. You have family. And they're alive. If you don't contact them, one day you will regret it. Maybe give him a chance before you write him off. I think I will. Having a cousin turned out to be a good thing. Maybe having a father will too.
Your master must have been a terrible man to make you hate mages so. He was. You've got to realize this is kind of new to me. I didn't know Mara had a baby. If I did, I would have... Well, I don't know. Gone after her or something. She used to say I was so much like you. And I didn't even know who you were. I guess I wanted to see for myself. I need some time to think about all this, but... If it's all right, I'd like to come back and talk more. I think I'd like that. Uh, keep, um, safe. Looks like you two had a good talk. It was bloody awkward, that's what. She looks nothing like you. Thank the Maker for small miracles, hmm? Really? I... Hey. You know, I may not say this very often, but I'm glad you're one of the family. But seriously, next time, stay out of my damn business, boy. <laughs>